Hi. <laughs> um, hello. Hi. How's everyone doing? Uh, today, I thought, why not do a sketchbook tour? And not any sketchbook tour, an old sketchbook tour, because I like to put myself through painful and cringy situations. And I don't know why. But I thought today, you know, I've been thinking about doing this for a while now, and I have so many sketchbooks. Um, and so I thought, why not? Let's let's do, let's just do it. Let's do an old sketchbook tour. I think I'm gonna make this into a series. I have a couple I'm doing today. I also have this binder because I, um, whenever I was first starting to make sketchbooks, I didn't fully fill them, so I wanted to do a couple here because also all these are on the same. These are all around like 26 and 2017, and. Um, I didn't think I'd have enough footage for just one sketchbook, so I thought I would do a couple. Also, I feel like it would be boring if I just did one. But from now, after this video, um, any more, like, old sketchbook tours I do are gonna just be one at a time. Um, but I thought I could start with a couple here. And so, I guess we just get into it. I also, just for a disclaimer, God, this freaking sketchbook is huge. I don't know how many I'm gonna fit this in here. Um, just for a disclaimer, it's good. I don't want it to... I feel like this video is going to be me like cringing a lot and a lot of these are going to be that and I want to be very clear that I understand that I don't want it to sound like I'm bullying myself I'm not I understand like I would not be where I am with my art if I didn't have this stuff and I understand that I want people to understand that I'm not bullying myself and I understand that everyone is at a different place in their art um and so yeah I just don't take what I say too seriously okay I'm making fun of myself and it's not like I'm not this is all a joke okay if it sounds like I'm bullying myself, I'm not. I promise. This is all a joke. It's for fun. I'm not. Like, I don't actually, like, dislike myself. <laughs> like, it might sound like in this video. I just want to be very clear. Um, but yeah, I guess let's just... I just want to get started, I guess. Again, this is going to be such a pain to show. So, they were here. I remember, like, I picked this one out and I was like, this is going to be my first ever sketchbook tour. And then I didn't finish it. So, there's, like, only a couple of pages, but we'll do it. Okay. So, let's see here. Starting out... All right, cool. Okay, this is all that's covered in this page, so it might look like I'm cutting off a lot, but I'm not. Um, so here, I think the decision behind this one was, I think I just wanted to draw, I think this was like probably copied off something, with probably like a model or something online. And it was like one of those mannequin model type things that I wanted to draw. So that's why it's like weirdly stylized, because this isn't what my style was really at the time. And I think I used like, I think I used like, or pencil or something i don't know i don't have a lot to say about this but i remember i think i, I remember drawing this distinctively though um here this one i just i really remember drawing this one because this is like the first big drawing i did in here and i wanted it to be so like colorful and good um and yeah this was in 2016 which is crazy um i remember doing this at my i think i remember coloring this in at my grandma's house and I remember like I used like colored pencils and I remember this was the first time I ever used a brush pen and my freaking hand was shaking so bad. I was like this, but the, you can tell by my lines that I was like shaking and I was so nervous and I didn't really understand the line variation or line weight or anything like that at the time yet. So yeah, and obviously I did the age old trick of hiding the hand behind the arm <laughs> because of course. Also, I don't know what's going on in here because these would be like I think in my head I thought these were her thighs, but that does not make sense because her thighs should be like here. Um, but I remember being so proud of this at the time. Also, look at that. That's that's so cute. Look at that. I think that's supposed to be a snowflake. That's a special little snowflake right there. Um, and then I also I remember like taking like white paint and like splotching this, and I was like so proud of it at the time. I was like, oh my god, I'm such an art genius. I was like, oh my god, look at this. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. I've actually redrawn. You'll see redraws of this eventually i'm not sure if it's gonna be in this video or not this one too um this one was um supposed to be inspired off of like hurricane katrina but if hurricane katrina was like actually a person i thought i was so creative at the time i was like oh my god i'm such i'm so creative this is like hurricane katrina if she was actually a person um but yeah that shin though it's kind of unfortunate it looks like a dorito her head looks like a dorito and those hands and then I remember, like, thinking, like, her dress is, like, like a, like, a vision of, like, what she's doing. Like, her dress is, like, what's actually happening in the world. I don't know what this is. 
but that's what I was thinking at the time. So yeah, real cute. The freaking eyes. God, I don't even know what like. Again, you'll you'll see throughout these. My my sketch my style changes in like every single sketchbook. It's crazy. That's a big thing I know for a lot of artists though. Okay, and then we have this page, which is really um. God, this the sketchbook is just absolutely destroyed at this point. The binds are completely. Um, this here is honestly a work of art. Actually, um, you know, I put that effort into it. I'm just joking. Apparently, I think you can already tell. I was gonna draw Rapunzel, and then I gave up, and then I just left this page blank, which is such a waste of paper. And I don't like that I did that. I don't like wasting paper like that. I try to fill up as much as I can a piece of paper. This cutie right here. Oh, wait one second. Wait, were these also? Oh, okay. For some reason, I was thinking those ones weren't done in 2017. No, these ones are all done in 2016. Um, this one is obviously supposed to be Rapunzel. I was a big fan of Tangled. It's still one of my favorite movies. Um, this one, I don't. I think I remember, again, I used a lot of colored pencil, obviously. That was like my main medium. And then I don't know what the hell happened here. What is, I don't know what's going on with her face. Looks like she has a face mask on. I think what happened is I think I messed, oh, you know what? I remember now. I outlined this with pen and then I went to color it in with colored pencil and it smudged on her freckles because for some reason I decided to make her freckles black. Uh, so it smudged in and then I went over it with paint, but it just actually looks worse than I already did. So that was more of a mistake and you can literally see the smudges still. But yeah, I remember, I distinctly remember copying this right off of, like, an image of her holding a frying pan. Those hands. Oh, God. It's cute. It's really cute, actually. This is honestly kind of adorable. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the little lanterns. Oh, my God. It's great. It's great. Also, I remember, like, I didn't know how to shade with uh, color pencil, so I just would freaking just smudge that shit into the paper until it blended. Don't do that. Um... Again, this was obviously just just a freaking waste of paper. I don't know why I took up a whole page to do this. Um, probably this was honestly probably for that other last one of trying to blend colors in together. Just a little scratch paper. Here, I have no idea what I was planning here. I don't know. I wonder. This almost looks like maybe I was like thinking about drawing someone with like flames for hair or something. That's kind of like what that looks like. That's like how my brain works. I feel like at the time. And why did I? Why did I leave just blank whole page? I don't know why. Again, I would like start sketching something super lately, and I guess I was too lazy to erase it. So I would just leave it. Which, by the way, I still am really lazy with like erasing stuff nowadays too. But I don't just leave a whole page blank. What, what is this? Why did I do that? I don't. Oh my! Well, there's multiple here. What was I doing? Okay, yep, this was exactly what I did with the last Rapunzel one. <sighs> um, this was like me starting to sketch something and then I gave up on it because I didn't like how it looked. So then I would just restart on a whole other page and then I just have this blank page. Also, this paper is so freaking thin. You can literally see the entire thing I did on the other page. Um, Alright, so again, I'm sorry. It's like really hard for me to show this whole thing. Um, this was obviously like a ballerina. I think this was around springtime when I did this, so I was like, I wanted to do something. I, I used to do like a lot of um, ballerina type stuff. I don't know why, honestly. Um, look at this sign. This is how I always do my signs. I would just put them in the corner. I remember just like, doing that. And yeah, this is a cute little little ballerina. She is interesting. Look at those feet. Look at this. Oh god, this is like this paper is driving me insane. All my other schedules are small, so thank goodness I don't have to do this more in the future. Uh, yeah, that hair, um, I think I was inspired by, like, Ariel, but I never, I remember I tried to draw Ariel so many times when I was younger and I never got it right. I should do it again, actually. Because, also, she does, look at that ear. <laughs> oh, God, look at that hairline. Oh, those hands. Those feet. This is cute. What a cutie, honestly. Um, this was obviously probably going to be some sort of mermaid. Never finished it. Again, this is such a waste of paper. This is like annoying my- I'm annoying my salt because this is such a waste of just paper. This one. I feel like I remember being really proud of this one at the time. This is also done with pe uh, pencils. I'm not sure what kind of color pencils I was using. I think I was probably just using Crayola pencils. I doubt I had Prismacolors at the time. Prismacolor pencils I'm talking about. Um, This one. Yeah, I remember being really, really proud of this one. I think her hand. Her hand looks weird. 
Um, oh, again, age old trick of hiding it behind the arm. Are you really an artist if you don't do that in the beginning? Are you really, you know what I mean? I feel like it's an, it's an experience everyone has. Um, obviously I was inspired by bows. So I just threw a bunch of bows around her. I, I don't know. That hair. It looks like this is like fake. <laughs> it's like she just clipped this on because like I can see her skull. I mean, I guess it's a ponytail so it makes sense. I remember like struggling really hard whenever I was younger because I never knew how to draw ponytails. Again, I used to only ever draw girls, um, which is so funny to me because I only ever draw like guys now. I don't know why. I need to like make it more even. This, I don't know. It looks like some like lily flowers or like lily pads in water or something. This one, I remember, we, I'm actually, you know, this still, I kind of like this still, actually. I was, like, inspired by it. Wait a second. I remember, like, going to the beach or something, and I think it was, this was probably around 4th of July, and I was like, I'll draw fireworks. I actually kind of like how this looks. It feels cool, too. This is with, um, charcoal. That's the rest of that sketchbook. So, yep, gave up pretty fast. Okay, let's move on to this one. Thank God this one's smaller, so I can actually look through it easier um so yeah no, this was my next one that i did this was tone paper uh for this first one i think i was inspired by like i think she's supposed to be like a deer i i don't know though i could be wrong i have no idea kind of her ears remind me of a deer she's some sort of mix with an animal i don't know what most people do cats i did a freaking i don't know why i did a deer it's so random but yeah i don't know i think they did this with marker um, here we have, again, I used to, like, never draw on this side of the page. So this is just scrap stuff. And then over here we have Sailor Moon, uh, Sailor Jupiter. I remember, like, doing this and I was like, I'm so creative. And, like, I feel like everyone does this. <laughs> this is not that, like, new. But, yeah, I think I did that with colored pencil. I was obsessed with drawing Sailor Moon characters. Uh, again, this is just a scrap paper. Nothing much. This was an original character I created. Yeah, I remember. No, and I remember too, there was like a really popular drawing of like a girl with like, um, that was like an aesthetic thing I feel like a lot of people were drawing at the time where it was like a girl with like constellations on her nose and I was inspired by that. So I wanted to do that too. Pokemon. I don't think that's how you, is that how you spell that? That looks wrong. It's probably, maybe it is, I don't know. Oh, here's some more Pokemon stuff. These don't look bad, actually. I know, I, I mean, I obviously directly copied them, but the proportions don't look bad. And then I get to keep people, and I'm like, oof. Oh, yeah, I think I wanted to draw, like, all of the princesses, but that never occurred fully. I only ever did, like, one. <laughs> then, again, again, this was just, I don't remember where I got the idea for this, but... This one, again, I remember being really proud of this one. Again, just a random girl. This, oh, God, that's cute. That's really cute. This was inspired by like um, trolls. I wanted to draw her as human. I remember distinctively. Oh god, this was like Shopkins. My sister had like my sister at this time was like obsessed with Shopkins, so I would uh, I drew them for her. I remember doing this. God, remember when Shopkins were a thing? That's like not a thing at all anymore. Oh, this was this was around the, around the time when I was really into this was like my anime. It's weird. I know like every artist goes through an anime phase. I went through one, but. I wasn't as, I was more, I wanted to like make, find my own style. So, I mean, this is obviously, this was like directly, I know exactly what flow this is, this is directly copied from um, Full Metal Alchemist of Winry, but I don't know. I went through an anime, you'll see it like this next sketchbook I have too is like very anime inspired, but I also kind of tried to find my own style at the same time. Um, just a girl in a field, she doesn't have arms. I, probably because I just didn't want to draw them. I doubt that was like on purpose. Thanks. Oh god. Oh god. I remember when I was I loved like Miraculous Ladybug. I was freaking obsessed. It was like one of my first like big obsessions that I found on my own. And so I did like the half and half thing. I was like, oh my god. I'm so smart. This is so creative. It'd be kind of fun to redraw these. I think I actually have redrawn them in other past sketchbooks. God, her eyes are ginormous. Her eyes are huge. They're like in her forehead. Yeah, she, actually, she doesn't even have a forehead. This, I remember reading a, um, I was reading like a book. There was a book I loved. It was like The Tale of Emily Winsnap, I think it was called. And it was a book series that I was obsessed with at the time. And I remember she was like, she would like turn into a mermaid. And I was definitely inspired by that for this one. Those hands. 
That foot's not terrible, actually. I still suck at drawing feet. More troll stuff. I don't know if I... I feel like my sister might have drawn that. I don't think I drew that. Actually, though, I don't know. I don't remember drawing that. It doesn't look like something I would draw. This was um, Once Upon a Time. I remember watching Once Upon a Time and I was obsessed with it. And I was like, I'm going to draw her. Never finished it, though. This, I remember this was like those um those Funko Pop things. I wanted to like draw them because they were easy. So I did that. This was of Moana, too. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, again. So I was obsessed. I do this multiple. You'll see this in other past sketchbooks, too, where I I had, like, all the... um. This was from the Sailor V manga. Um, I had, My sister had all the Sailor Moon mangas, and then I had the Sailor V ones, and I would just draw those manga covers constantly because I loved them, and I always wanted to draw them, and I never got them quite right. I remember, though, being very proud of this one at the time, like, the hands, which that hand isn't bad. That one's weird. That one's... Also, foreshortening. It doesn't look like it, but... I still have a hard time with foreshortening today. Yeah, here's the Sailor Moon. Like, again, I was obsessed with those manga covers, so I would consist- I've drawn this so many times. I still continue to draw it. It's, like, become that thing that I draw, like, every year to see how I improve. I haven't done it yet this- I don't- Did I do it last year? I think I did. It's- I haven't done it yet this year, though. Yep. And then they also had, like, the chibi things on the backs, too, that I would try to draw. Also. Yeah, I was obsessed. Oh, there it is again. I did it twice. That's crazy. I can't believe- I was, like, dedicated. I was like, I'm gonna get this freaking right. That's not terrible for, like, the style I was trying to convey. This was just, like, a random girl. I remember I was going through, like, I could not- Nothing I was drawing was turning out right, and I remember getting really frustrated. This- This was from one of those, like, how to draw Disney character books. I remember. That's not bad. I mean, again, it's a direct copy, but, you know, that was not bad either. I don't know. This, this was definitely directly copied off of something also, because it's like one of those outline things of Jasmine. This one was of Meg from Hercules. Again, I have no idea. This was just a random thing I made. I think this was, was this supposed to be me? It doesn't look anything like me. <laughs> um, I don't know if it was or not. Um. I get, why did I cut off all my characters like that? Why were they all cut off at the shins? That looks bad. And also the hand. <laughs> She's just hugging herself. <laughs> Sorry, this is so funny. I can't. That hair too. That, that's wavy hair right there. Yeah, this was... Yeah, I remember I really liked those book covers. I was like obsessed with that. Have, does anyone else know what that series is? Let me know. I remember when I was like in like 6th grade and like middle school, I really liked it. I think this comes to like oh no here we go oh this was um actually this doesn't look terrible um this is from soul eater i never got like super into soul i remember i started watching it but i never i never finished it um but i liked the designs of the characters i like that shoe it's cool this is from the um <laughs> her for she does not have a forehead uh this is from something rotten the musical not freaking musical fan art listen I've been into musicals for a long time. Um, yeah, I loved that song and I wanted to draw her. Um, this I just need to remember drawing this during... Um, it was the first time I watched La La Land. And I remember she was in that one dress and I was drawing it. And I remember not being happy with it because it didn't look right. This was also like based off of a book cover I saw that I really liked the art style of. I forgot what it's called though. These are just like hair... Are trying to figure out hairs for original characters, I guess? I guess these are the ones I liked. They don't look kind of... These were clothes for a character. Oh, shoot. Oh, look at the- Oh, okay. Even back then, I was obsessed with redrawing art. Do you see this? Her name's Coraline Peters. <laughs> it's terrible for me to find. Why? Um, okay. I low-key like the 2017 one more than the 2018 one. I don't like the 2018 one. I actually like this one more. Oh, God. It's not good. Ew. She's kind of scary. Oh, God. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, look at the anime eyes and the hair. He was emo boy. He was his little emo boy. That's so funny. I'm guessing this was also 2016. None of them look good. Why is his nose completely covered in? I don't know. 
Inktober push. I don't. This wasn't ever like pushing. Was like I guess it is pushing still popular. I feel like it's not as popular. Like, my sister had like a calendar of pushings that I would draw, and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna do Inktober in here, and I never did. Wow, another rough sketchbook. Let's move on. Let's move on. I decided to put these are all like um loose leaf pieces of paper. All right, so here's the first one I did of a girl. This was with a comp pencil. Um, I don't have much to say about this. <laughs> um, these were just on like normal printer paper, which is weird. I had like sketchbooks and I was working in normal loose leaf. Why was I doing that? I don't know. This is some drawing of Annie, I guess. I remember being like so proud of this one at the time, but it doesn't look good. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, her reflections in the in the water. That's so freaking cool. It's not. It's not that interesting. It's not. Also, I didn't. I don't know why. I was just too. I hated erasing apparently because I couldn't be bothered to erase this either. So. Yeah. Um, I have no recollection of drawing these um, at all. I don't remember what. I think these were just original characters. More musical fan art. This is of Wicked. Some Wicked fan art, I guess. I don't. Yeah. Oh, God. This. I remember drawing this distinctively because I never drew guys and I was like, I'm going to force myself to draw guys. Doesn't look good. Look at that hand. That's cute. That looks like freaking the Grinch hands. I look like Grinch hands. I don't know what this pose is. I think like the idea, he was like originally a character and he was like into like constellations. And he would draw maps of constellations. I don't know. I hate it. Move on. Uh, I gather Ariel drawing. This is directly off of a screenshot of an image of her in one of the movies. Also, this was a stuff which you can actually already see it, I guess. I didn't say anything about it, but this was a style I started doing where I would like attach the eyes to the nose, which... I guess I still kind of do that, but only in a sketch. Um, and I hate this. This is terrible. Not good. Don't know what I was thinking. Some just random miscellaneous sketches. I don't know what any of these were supposed to be. I don't remember doing this. So I don't have anything to say about it. And then we have a little witch. This must have been around. I don't know when this was. This probably was in around October. Little witch. I remember at the time being upset with this because... I can understand now why. I feel like at the time I didn't, but now I understand because it's very stiff. And also I decided to add pops of green, but the pops of greens are all like in an order and it looks weird. I tried to do like watercolor and then cut pencil because the paper is really weirdly warped. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. I just put everything else out of this. And so I'm just going to look through all this stuff now. These are all just loose. Okay, so this was obviously Moana. This one, honestly, like, Line art, this obviously was directly copied off something, but the line art in this one isn't bad, actually. Compared to, like, everything else I was doing, I think it actually looks very neat. Um, I prefer, personally, more variation in my lines, but, like, this isn't bad. It looks, like, clean, which a lot of my stuff isn't, so I don't hate it. Um, this was a redraw of that one drawing in the other book of that, like, ice queen um, that I did. Um, and it still looks bad, so... Yeah, I don't know what the eyes are. Just, oh, God. I hate the way the face looks. It's the nose. Ugh. Let's just move on. Um, okay, we have a lot of watercolor stuff here. So, this. Here, let me get rid of all this stuff so it's on the way. These are. I was obsessed with Doctor Who. So, I wanted to do art from it. And so, I have. One second. So, these two were the first ones I did. Uh, it looks like, again, this was a mix of watercolor and colored pencil. But yeah, so I, these are the original ones I did, and then I redrew them. Right there. Um, honestly, the redraws don't look that much better. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. I don't think it looks that much better. I mean, there's definitely improvement, though, but, like, the poses. Um, the faces are so freaking long, though. I, I got into that habit where I would draw the faces so long. I don't know how that started, but... I have really bad cutoff skull. I actually redrew these again. So you have those, and then I redrew it again for a third time. This was the most recent. I did this one in 2020. I mean, 2022. I can't read. Um, I kind of want to do this again. So if anyone's interested, um, these ones I, I definitely think like the poses look better overall. The watercolor looks a lot better. I really like how the stripes turned on his suit here. My main complaint is his face. That looks nothing like Matt Smith, which Matt Smith is. He has a very, very distinct face, and 
honestly though i feel like that should make them easier to draw though because in my opinion i think it's actually easier to draw people with very distinct faces because their facial experience yeah facial their facial structure is a lot more apparent than people with more average looking faces in my opinion so it's easier to find like specific traits of their face that are easier to draw but it doesn't look anything like him to me and this doesn't really look like this doesn't look like david Downey either so yeah i might draw this again eventually we'll see it probably will happen because i have an obsession with redrawing art but yeah this was also another redraw so this was the first the first one i did was this this was very much inspired by like the jellyfish I think it was like called the jellyfish princess it was an anime but i liked the idea of it so i drew this and then this was the redraw um which i actually i kind of like this though i think it's kind of cute i like the way they pastel colors in it the sketch of that this this was a this was also this was more recent this was in 2020 um this is watercolor this was directly copied from avatar um i freaking ripped this i remember being so mad at myself i was like proud of this at the time um some of their faces like her face and his face look very wonky i think ang looks pretty good i like how his eyes look and i like how these two look too but yeah the watercolor kind of it's fine it's fine this one was also more recent this was done um this was like for school um i think this was done in like this might have also been done in like 2020 2021 for an assignment in school so i went all out i think this is actually still really cute though i like the cut off of it and then this this was i did this at school this was like um the penguin i saw this was like on a puzzle i wanted to draw it i remember being really proud of that but i kind of like redraw this i think this is the final one i'm gonna do today thank god Jesus Christ. i'm sorry this video is gonna be long this one this one I was like, this is going to actually be my first sketchbook. So this is when it really, I would say, starts where I actually start really fully filling a sketchbook. But this one already, though, you can see how thin it is. If you know these sketchbooks, these sketchbooks are like, they're pretty thick. They have like, yeah, there's a lot of paper in them. I definitely, I ripped out a lot of pages because I didn't like how they looked. But yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, so this one we started in, I started this one in 2017. And I ended in 2017. And I remember... This one was very much like I just wanted to draw a girl looking up at the sky. Um, but it doesn't really look like she's supposed to be laying on grass, but it doesn't look like she's laying on grass. It looks like she's just floating in air. I like put like little clouds in her eyes and it looks like the reflection in her eyes, which I mean it's kind of a cute idea in hindsight. Also, this was definitely the anime fades. You can kinda I mean it's it looks very much like anime. Slightly stylized. Um This was just a random stuff i guess drawing ideas girl crying music love that siamese cats wicked switched dresses 50s waitress a girl hat and sundress mad hatter girl and harley quinn that was the things i wanted to draw and i don't think i drew a single one of those things in this entire sketchbook so love that um this is hatsumiku this was like definitely copied off of like a chibi version of her somewhere oh god why i did this every sorry i'm like annoying myself i would for some reason decide to draw one side upside down i don't know why so this is gonna get really annoying really quick but we have these were just different hairstyles i guess and then i was obsessed with yoni of the dawn which honestly i still kind of recommend i recommend it's an anime and it's a manga it's only one season the anime yeah so that was hawk and yoni of the dawn uh this is from death braid which i still I really recommend Death Parade. Death Parade's freaking great. It's an anime. It's short. It's like 12 episodes, I think. Um, it's really good. And I really like her design. Her character design. So I drew her different facial expressions of people from anime, I guess, probably. Doodles. This. Um, different weapons. I never draw weapons, so I don't know why I did this. This looks like it was done with color... I mean, not color, I said color pencil. Um, with brush pen. So, and then this is a human Twizzler. More aerial. It's upside down. Ugh. God. A dingle hopper. Yeah. Cute. And then here is that exact drawing again. If so, I'm in. I do it a lot. 
I had the idea of drawing a girl that was like a deer, I guess. So there's that. I don't have any. Uh, this is like an OC of mine. An idea. Again, I don't... Most people draw cat people. I did deer people. I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, these are more just like swatches. That's, and then this is from XXHolic. I don't hate this. This is obviously directly copied off something, but this looks like it'd be really fun to draw again. I wonder if this is that Mad Hatter girl that I was trying to draw. I never finished that. And then here's a girl crying. Oh my gosh. I was. This was... Oh, and she has headphones in. I, you guys, I did draw what I planned to draw. A girl crying with headphones in. I don't know why she's crying. This is not good. Here is... More facial expressions. This is me desperately trying to make an art style happen, but it was not happening. It wasn't working out. This was from also my um, Fullmetal Alchemist. I was obsessed with Fullmetal Alchemist. Um, this is a direct copy of something. I have an image of him, I remember. I know exactly what it is, too. Um, but I didn't want to draw his hands. So I... uh, random hand drawings. That one's not bad. Actually, a lot of those aren't bad. They're not terrible. And then this was also Yona of the Dawn. Fan art. The wind in her hair. Ariel and Eric. Also more. She doesn't have a hand because I didn't want to draw it. Because I couldn't draw hands. Hey, look. Wait, I did. This is a girl. A waitress girl. Oh my gosh. I did draw something else. A 50s waitress. Great. I think that was an idea for a character I wanted to make. And then I never... Did anything with it. This is a redraw of that last girl with a bow in her hair. Um, you saw it in my other sketchbook. And honestly, I feel like it looks worse than the last one. Why? My art was going downhill. <laughs> my art went. I was going backwards in my progress. I this stupid nose eye thing was like a style I thought looked so good, and it didn't. It was never a good idea. Also, why did I outline this in like green? What was I thinking? Um, I was so proud of this at the time. This is supposed to be, uh, Clark Kent from Smallville. Specifically from Smallville. And then this is just a random nerdy guy. Actually, that might be supposed to be the doctor. And then this, I also, like, was obsessed with this. I, I thought this was so cool. Where I did a girl that was, like, on the bus and sad. That was, like, me on the bus every day. And then this is a happy person. Inktober. I always was like, I'm gonna do Inktober, and I never did it. I just would draw. I would just write that I'm going to do it. This is also, this is a redraw of the Hurricane Katrina person. Again, it looks honestly worse though, in my opinion because the stupid face. What is that? God, I hate it. This was a show my sister was also in. Here, I drew her looking real cute. Um, And then I hid this. I don't know what it is. Is it a bad hand? I can't freaking open this. Oh, the hand's not even that bad. The hand's like good. Why did I hide that? That's not even a bad hand. I drew way worse hands than that. Also, that line art isn't terrible. Not bad. It's pretty clean. Um, This was an idea for a girl. See, like that, I should have hid that. Why did I hide that? I don't know. This is based off of that game, Broken Age. I was, I remember watching playthroughs of it. I don't know what this is. It's just random characters, I guess, and a cat. Um, I think this was also inspired by Ladybug. This must have been a original character of mine through the years. I'm guessing. I don't remember making that, though. And she never stuck as a character, so. Here. Oh, God. My musical. You guys. I like musicals. Um, This is from Cats, the musical. Not the stupid movie. Not the stupid movie, okay? This is from... Cats is such a weird musical already, though. But this is from the original Broadway. Actually, I don't know if it was the original Broadway cast. It was like the London cast. It's filmed. Okay, that's the real... That's what that's based off of. And then this was a girl that's sad. Because there's lots of darkness around her. I don't know. I don't remember making that. This is an original character of mine, Penny. You'll see her a lot. She makes so many... This is why I don't, like, keep original characters. Because I literally change them consistently every time I draw them. So, you'll see more of her though in the future. Um... This is just a random girl in the seat, you know, I don't know who that is. This is also an OC of mine. Um, this was definitely the part of the sketchbook where I was, like, done. I wanted it to be done, so I just, like, taped a whole bunch of shit in here. Um, I think I had a bloody nose, so I drew myself with a bloody nose. Because, yeah. 
Um, this is me roasting my own art because it's bad. <laughs> at least I had some self-awareness at the time. Um, oh, this is kind of cute. Wait, that's so cute. I would like actually, I would draw that again. It looks like a little storybook. Wait, why do I want to draw that? Um, I don't, these are all just really bad sketches. God, I just want to be done with this stupid, I... <sighs> This, I think, was a picture of my sister in her room. This is actually, like, perspective-wise, this is kind of cool, actually. It's, like, looking down. Um, these are my OCs. I thought this would be cool if I taped it in. Interesting. It's not that interesting. Um, again, these are just random sketches. I don't remember drawing any of this stuff, so I don't really have anything to say about it. I don't know. Someone's birthday, I guess. Random girl random these are all just random sketches at this point this was an original character of mine um that outfit is horrendous what is that what is that uh i was like obsessed with drawing um are they called birch trees the white trees i think that's what they're called this must have been something for halloween that i was thinking about doing that i never did um these are different pokemon that i drew that one's cute it looks bad but it's cute um yep this is just me feeling the rest of this batch book fast princesses god i really just gave up didn't i i can tell i can tell i gave up because i didn't give them even arms oh i'm going backwards uh these were villains i decided to draw thank god we're at the end oh god and then again these were all just different ideas for october that's it we're done we're done we're done this video <sighs> okay that's the video um, I hope everyone enjoyed watching it. I'm going to need to edit this down a lot because there's just so much that happened. Um, I have an idea. Um, after I film each one of these types of videos, I kind of want to choose a couple of, of the drawings in here and I want to redraw them. So that's probably going to be the next video where I redraw some old art because I know I keep doing it, but I can't stop and it's going to keep happening. So I apologize. If you're not into it, you don't have to watch it. <laughs> you don't want to. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching um this was probably tor this was torture for me but hopefully it was enjoyable for you um and i'll see you guys again and thank you so so much for your support and bye